In this video, we're going to talk about stoma care. Now, the wafer and bag for an ostomy only needs to be changed every three days or if it's leaking, but you still need to be able to assess the stoma itself. So in this case, we're going to show you how to replace the bag and clean and assess the stoma. So you want to start by putting a towel um, under the patient on the side of the stoma. And then the first thing you want to do is assess the output from the stoma. So if you have a clear bag, um, you can actually see the output through the bag and visualize it that way, otherwise you'll need to empty it. In order to clean and assess the stoma, we have to remove the bag, so start by peeling the wafer and just pushing the skin down away from it gently. You might need to use warm water or alcohol here if the adhesive is tough. Now you wanna clean the stoma and around it with a washcloth with warm soapy water. Just use gentle strokes, you don't want to scrub. Then you wanna pat the skin dry with a towel. Again, don't rub, just pat. So. Now that the stoma is clean, you can actually do your assessment. So you wanna inspect the stoma itself. It should be light to dark pink and moist. What you don't wanna see is dark red, pale, purple, or any kind of bluish color. None of those are good signs. They all represent problems with perfusion and should be reported right away. And of course, look for any skin breakdown. So now you want to measure the stoma and cut the hole of the wafer to be about an eighth of an inch larger than the stoma. If it's too small, it can actually cut off circulation to the stoma itself. So you're gonna use a pair of scissors to cut around the inside hole of the wafer. Now some wafers, depending on the um, brand you have, some of them have little measurement tools, some of them don't. So just make sure that you are about an eighth of an inch larger than the stoma itself. If you need to, apply skin prep or barrier to the skin around the stoma and then remove the backing from the wafer and apply it to the skin with the stoma in the center of the hole. Now, for patients who've had a stoma for a long time, they may have a preference here of which angle they would like their bag going. Some of them like it going straight down, some of, it like it, some of them like it going off to the side, so just make sure you talk to your patient about that. Now, as you're smoothing down the wafer, if you do get any creases uh, that you can't smooth out, you can use a barrier paste to fill that in. If you're using a two-piece system, apply the wafer first and then snap on the bag. Just make sure the bag is closed and sealed based on whatever type of bag you have. Discard your supplies, wash your hands, and document your findings. Make sure that you include this in output measurement as well. So that's it for stoma care. Remember the little things might change depending on the type of stoma that your patient has and the type of bag device that they're using, but always look at the stoma and the skin around it. All right guys, go out and be your best selves today. And as always, Happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.